Hello and welcome to this weather update. Uh, it's going to be a brief weather update because Hurricane Irma is now a Category 5 hurricane. And look at her form. Uh, the way I just said that is just unbelievable. But, I mean, look at this thing. Uh, the eye is its just a perfect symmetry. The outflow is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is something, you know, that's uh, not a common thing to see in nature for sure. Uh, such a strong hurricane. Uh, in excellent shape. Uh, it is over warm water. Uh, we're talking temperatures in warm water in the mid 80s. And uh, it is a beautiful looking hurricane, uh, despite the fact that it is a dev going to be a devastating hurricane. It looks like it's going to be affecting parts of the Leeward Islands, not all of them, but these right here. Um, we're going to go right now to the uh, hurricane advisory from the National Hurricane Center on Hurricane Irma. Who Irma is just looking uh, just amazing in this in this uh, visible satellite image. Uh, just something it is something to behold for sure. So we're gonna go over the overview because Jose has just formed. Uh, Jose is a, a very weak tropical storm right now, but it could become something that will be a little more of an issue later on. And here's Hurricane Irma, uh, Category Five, um, maximum sustained winds up to 185 miles an hour. That is really impressive, uh, and this is a future area of disturbance that they have that they are watching. So let's go ahead and click on Irma here and take a look at what we have here. So, the forecast track still takes this thing toward Florida. Uh, it will be devastating. Hurricane warning is in effect for these Leeward Islands. Hurricane watch is in effect for the Dominican Republic. Hurricane warning for Puerto Rico. Uh, hurricane watch is for the Bahamas. It's probably going to be all upgraded to hurricane warnings. Um, and its movement is west at 14 miles an hour. Maximum sustained winds, 185 miles an hour. Wrap your head around that. Uh, that is, is some really impressive uh, wind speed for sure in this storm here. Um, so, a, a really impressive storm, uh, and we may be seeing a really major disaster unfolding, though, unfortunately. Um, and next, we're going to get to the models. Okay, so we're going to just briefly look at the GFS here, and... Uh, you can see that it's still being steered toward Florida. It's going a little more east in this latest run uh, along the east coast of Florida, and then it would go into South Carolina and Georgia. Um, and then there's Jose, uh, which is going to kind of just meander around um, out there. So, uh, you know, Jose is going to react to what Irma is doing. Uh, but this this could be a major disaster for Florida. I, 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 people in Florida need to start preparing um, because the models are coming to an agreement on a major hit on Florida uh, for this storm. Uh, and let's look at the Euro. And the Euro, uh, we only have out to, or no, the Euro, we have out now to the whole thing. So you can see the Euro pretty much rakes Florida. And the Euro's track's even worse because it keeps most of Florida in that northeast, northeast semicircle of, of the storm. And uh, it, this is just unbelievable. So uh, those are just a few of the models that we're going to look at today. Uh, I don't want to make this a long weather update. The last thing I'll get to is just our local weather. Okay, we're just going to briefly go over the local weather here for a moment. Um, very humid out there, 79 degrees here on Long Island. However, this is why you want to be living on Long Island, because this is what it looks like in Tom's River right now. Uh, 87 degrees, so it's a lot hotter there. Uh, it was a lot hotter there yesterday, too, as well. Um, uh, so uh, we have that going on. Uh, a lot of, you know, temperature variation in our area, of course. And, and just look at the sat smoke on the satellite. Now. So this is the satellite image here, and I'll just show you this is the cold front. So uh, we might be smelling smoke in our area over the next uh, 24 hour or so hours. There seems to be some smoke that's uh, actually people have been smelling it in Ohio, so that's moving our way, and I wouldn't be surprised if we smell it here as well. And then we have beautiful air building in for Friday, and uh, maybe later, you know, starting later Thursday, Friday, right through the weekend, should be some beautiful weather. Uh, but our, uh, let's pray for the people in Florida uh, in the path of this devastating Hurricane Irma, uh, and continue to pray for the people in Houston and Texas that are still dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. Uh, this is going to be a probably historically bad hurricane season. Take care.